Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and this is Silicon Angle's continuous coverage at the Cube of VMworld 2011. I'm here with Stu Miniman, also of Wikibon. Hey Welcome, Dave. Stu. Thanks for having me back again. So the Cube is where we take knowledge, we extract knowledge from guests, we present it to a, to an audience. Uh, we're covering all the angles at, at VMworld, and one of the things we're doing this year, Stu, as you know, is we have in-depth spotlights, and we are. Um, doing a spotlight right now on VMware integration. This is sponsored by EMC, and we're going to go deep into the whole notion of, of integration. Integration, is particularly at the storage layer, is very important, isn't it? A absolutely, Dave. And, and, the, and, and why is that? Let's, let's, yeah, so, let's so so integration is really important. So when we look at, uh, as we, we've talked in some of the other segments, uh, server virtualization helped uh, utilization uh, of server resources, but it had this, uh, effect of breaking some of the other pieces of the stack. So storage was broken. Uh, so there's been a, a large effort by vendors to work with VMware to make integration points. And VMware has APIs and it has uh, projects and vendors have also created their own codings to be able to integrate with technology. And one of the things we're excited about here is, you know, Wikibon did a lot of research and also leveraged the, the community a lot to, to hear about what's really important and what's being used out there. And that's what we're going to talk about for some of this uh, spotlight. All right, so let's break it down. Uh, some of the big trends that we're watching here at uh, SiliconANGLE and Wikibon. Uh, virtualization environments, they're growing like crazy. They are the growth engine of storage. You have a nearly $50 billion ecosystem. Uh, we heard today that for every dollar spent on VMware licenses, it's now $17, according to Rick Jackson. Excellent, so it's up $2 from last year. It's up $2 year. from last year, so it's growing. Um, not only is the community growing, the pace of a pass along, if you will, is growing. Um, and so, a big, big issue has been storage for the last several years. Storage for VMware is challenged. It's clearly getting better. Over the last two years, uh, VMware has done a much, much better job of uh, providing APIs to the community, but still taking some time, and we're going to share some data on that. Another thing we're watching is the degree of difficulty of integration. Um, compared to other hypervisors. Right. I mean, what are you seeing there? Right, so, so first of all, right, it, it's not just about the number of integration points, but how easy it is for the customer to deploy that and extract value from it. Um, so the other hypervisors are a little bit behind VMware in market share, and uh, from a full functionality standpoint, a lot of them are in test dev environments or not the robust enterprise, you know, a high application stacks, so might not have the performance requirements uh, that other hypervisors have. So. Um, the last thing is that uh, we're talking about adoption rates. We'll look at the function. We have some survey data on how fast these new functions are, are, are being up t uh, upticked, adopted. Um, not super fast, we got a ways to go. Yeah, so the, I mean the storage industry is notoriously slow at adopting new technology, inertia in the marketplace, and organizationally they're just really slow to roll out new things. So um, let's take a look at the business angles. Uh, we got a slide up here on this. I'm going to go through this very quickly. Um, the strategy, integrate fast, integrate often, be first. Right, so that's for the, for the vendors themselves, that they, you know, uh, the, the ones that are leading in the integrations, we found are leading more in market share than they are generally in the, in the, in the non-virtual environment. And API integrations are becoming table stakes. Yep, uh, the you know. journey's not done for APIs. VMware has more that they'll be doing and they're organizing it better, but uh, everybody is going to be able to match these APIs, so that's not a differentiator. So key players, highly fragmented in storage, meaning there's a lot of players chasing it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like certain markets you have a dominant player or a duopoly. We know storage is, you know, nobody has a third of the market even. You got guys like Tintree coming in saying, hey, storage is, you know, a do-over. Right. Essentially. So, so you have the, you know, traditional guys like uh, EMC, HP, and NetApp who are saying that they've taken their, you know, more legacy environments and made them VMware versus ones like Tintree who are come out, you know, specifically targeting virtual environments only. And then um, this notion of storage becoming invisible in virtualization uh, environments, can it become commoditized? We asked Pat Gelsinger that question today. Yeah. He said, hey, we made a lot of money with Intel inside. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that was a, a reasonable answer. And then what's relevant about VMware here, all vendors are now multi-sourcing hypervisors, VMware's number one, but you know, you see more competition and, and storage vendors are having to split their resources. Yeah, so, so right. the quick note on that is when you talk about all these integration points, vendors are spending a lot of time and engineering effort to develop for VMware, uh, and, and that's a potential challenge in the VMware environment. So I want to jump into the survey. Um, this slide shows um, 
the adoption of these advanced features. So you can see the advanced features across the bottom. The brown or the zero is customers telling us they have not yet adopted these features. So you can see all these advanced features. We still have a lot of white space. Um, you see SRM with automated failback. Right, so you know, uh, that's the lowest on the list. The others are you know, creeping up more. It looks like uh, you know a VU meter. On right, a, so, so uh, SRM, which has a lot of value in the marketplace, is not as widely adopted as you know something like you know VMotion is obviously uh, in there. Or Inter cloning basic integration, of individual cloning. VMs. Right, and, and SRM failback is even newer. Right, you know, so all right, good. So um, now we did a study in Wikibon. We did an extensive survey of our of our community, and we also did an extensive analysis. And what we looked at was, if I understand it correctly, the number of integration points and the value of that, those integrations from a user perspective. And then you and David Floyer and Nick Allen helped on this, put together uh, basically a, a measure, a score, of all the various vendors. And here's the, the layout here. So you have, and you did it by product. So you got, you got EMC, VNX, and VMAX led. You got NetApp. You know, right there on the on the heel. This is a great horse race. We love analogies in the cube. Uh, HP and 3PAR, also very strong integration, and Dell Equalogic. Right. So right. Uh, yeah. So real quick on, on the on the scoring is first of all, we didn't want to uh, bias companies that had a lot of products like an HP or an EMC uh, against a company like NetApp, who's a single product. So it's per product, so that you can't claim I have 27 integrations on replication. You have one replication okay. per product. So that sort of normalized. That's it normalizes the data, finding a, a, a common list across all the vendors was very tough to do and is up for debate. Um, but we feel we had a nice fair list and we did talk to all of the vendors on this list and gave them pl ample time to be able to uh, you know, add and, and comment on that. And I know, you know it was interesting, a couple years ago I was at uh, VMworld, I thought Hitachi's presence w was lacking there. They've, 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 they've stepped it up now with vSphere 5, but you see them sort of in the middle of the pack and then you know, IBM left hand, you know, and, and et cetera, to the right. Dell Compellent, Compellent, a smaller company, didn't get the, the SDKs, for example, for uh, VAAI until very late in the game. Now that they're part of Dell, they're going to get them much sooner. So we're going to see this horse race cluster you know, around, and, 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 and differentiation is going to come from other places, right. isn't it? Well, one thing to point on this, this was uh, on vSphere 4.1, so we expect with vSphere 5 that the gap will actually narrow between these vendors. Uh, the, the likes of EMC need to keep aggressively going forward and adding more integration points and, and staying ahead of the pack if they want to keep that, you know, thought leadership. Now, the last thing I want to uh, share with the audience is we did, uh, asked customers, um, who's your primary uh, uh, storage vendor for VMware, uh, and and who is the best VMware storage vendor? And interestingly, so here's here it shows. Um, this is the response on the pie chart to the best storage. You can see EMC stands out, and then we superimposed uh, EMC's market share based on IDC Q4 numbers. So EMC has a disproportional mind share within that base, as does NetApp. Right. You know, so, which so, is so, quite so what you're looking at here is really kind of a, a you know a brand measurement from the customer base, and it's what customers believe. And EMC and NetApp had more people that that didn't even have EMC and NetApp as their primary storage, but that felt that they were the top vendor there. If you go to wikibon.org, you can see all the details and metadata uh, behind uh, the, this uh, the survey that we did. Uh, it's really the community talking about the value of that integration. So a lot of research went into this. We, we, we did uh, extensive analysis of all the, the major vendors and products, so check that out on wikibon.org. And uh, you know, search on, on VMware integration if you're, if you're having a hard time, find it. Um, Stu, we're out of time. Thanks very much yeah, for just to, yeah, the final, final point on that is it was a real proof point for how the VMware community loves to share and uh, feedback into the community, which of course is core to the Wikibon, you know, and Silicon Angle uh, motto: peer sharing with peers. You know, uh, bringing that information and you know, exploding it out there into the marketplace. Okay, this is Dave Vellante, and uh, we are live at VMworld 2010. I'm here with my colleague Stu Miniman, Silicon Angle's continuous coverage, the Cube. And we'll be right back.